both a hand and machine recount in the election for Supreme Court. Good evening, I'm Mark Kane. A judge ordered the change this afternoon as clerks have started to prepare for the recount of historic proportions. News 3's political reporter Jessica Harp joining us now with all the latest developments. Jessica? Well, Mark, state law says that votes are supposed to be recounted the way they were originally counted. But because of some old voting machines, the Kloppenberg campaign is getting a partial hand recount. And the Prosser campaign says they want things done quickly. I think the uh, public has a right to a recount that they have confidence in. In a quick deal and decision, a Dane County judge says ballots will be hand counted in parts of 31 counties across the state where old election machines make it impossible to save election night information if a machine recount is done. Destroying data is the absolute last thing we should do um, if we can uh, uh, accommodate the recount in a manner uh, that will satisfy the goals of a recount, yet preserve the data so that the public is assured that everything is on the up and up. The Kloppenberg campaign, who believes there are voter irregularities in some counties, says a hand recount of these areas is enough, rather than requesting it statewide. We thought that the, um, the, the number of counties and the size of the counties that are affected by this really kind of mechanical issue with regard to the memory cards um, is, um, you know, covers pretty well the counties where uh, we have the greatest concerns of potential mistakes. The Prosser campaign, who said they would do everything to prevent a recount they call frivolous, instead agreed to the hand recount. Why did you believe you, that was the right thing to do rather than taking action to stop Because it? Mr. Justice Prosser wants this matter completed as quickly as possible. So that's done. The sooner we count, the sooner he's won. And in Dane County, where they're preparing for the monumental undertaking, they say hand counting will actually make things go faster. If you think about it, when you're touching paper, you can do that. You can count a piece of paper in less than a second. But when you feed your ballot into the tabulator at the polling place, it doesn't immediately go in. The machine processes it, and it takes a few seconds. By state statute, the recount is supposed to be completed 13 days after it begins, and the GAB says it will start on Wednesday. But some county clerks are already saying it could take much longer than that, and a court extension, extension could allow for that to happen. Counties will have to bear the cost of the recount, though. Dane County's rough, rough estimate is at least $20,000. All right, Jessica, our reporting. Thank you.